But we want to turn to a story of hope that mm -hmm. we want to share with you this morning. A Fayette County family is celebrating an incredible milestone after a months long battle with cancer. You know, I, I was thinking about this, like as a parent, you're a new parent. Yeah. How devastating would Can't it be to get that kind of diagnosis, right? Well, the cancer survivor in this case is a little one-year-old girl, Piper. Don Shipman is here. Don, you were there when the Panter family stopped by Children's Healthcare uh, to see the staff. Because yeah. the staff was critical in helping them through this. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely. Definitely. Right? And when you, when you hear that word cancer, the, the floor literally drops out from underneath you. I, I've been there. I know, I know a lot of you have been there. And this family has been there, too. Um, it has been a year. The good news is, after months of chemotherapy, Piper is on the road to recovery. And when you see her, you would never know that what she's been through. I mean, look at this. At four months old, Piper was diagnosed with a form of neuroblastoma. She had two tumors in her adrenal glands. Her liver was also full of tumors and masses. Now, four days after being diagnosed, she started chemotherapy. It all happened so fast. Piper, her parents, her three older siblings spent days upon days at the hospital. It became a second home. Thankfully, though, that chemotherapy worked. Her mom, Lauren, tells me that she and her family learned a lot over the past year. You will always be stronger than you think you are. Here is my little four month baby and she is fighting for her life. You know, we always think of little babies as so fragile and so precious and here she is, you know, fighting a battle that adults shouldn't even have to fight. So um, you never know how strong you truly are. So now at nearly 20 months old, Piper is in a phase of her treatment where she no longer needs that chemo. She's not out of the woods just yet. She still has to go through scans every three months, but her family is confident that she is going to beat this. And one of the things that I thought was really great about this family is that they're now giving back. For example, they donate meals to the families mm -hmm. at Children's who are experiencing similar hardships. They say that those meals that they were receiving during all of that time at the hospital, it was vital. You don't want to leave your child's side, I would imagine. Right. You know, yeah. trying to run out and even grab something quick would be tough. Yeah. yeah. Don, thanks.